<clears throat> Welcome to I See the Light. I am Prophetess Regina. I'm the light, and I'm back with another one. Dang on right, I'm the light. I'm just going to toot my horn. Anyway, I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations, and you're not letting nobody dim your light. God bless. So, we made it to Friday, which I didn't even know was Friday. I was a day off. I thought today was Thursday. My mother asked me what day it was, and I said it was Thursday. No, she said, what's tomorrow? And I said, Thursday. I said, Friday. And she said, no, today is Friday. I said, well, then why'd you ask me if you already knew? <laughs> why do people do that? They ask you something, and you answered wrong. They said, no, it's so-and-so. But I was a day off. Because I went to the doctor two days in a row, so I was a little little shooken up because not shooken up but confused on my days. I tell y'all, I lose track of time. Anyway, um, God bless to all, praises to the most high, almighty God. That's what we're here for. Um, I'm here to uh do a message for my heavenly father. Um, a message, a reading, um, um, uh teach, instruct, and advise, um, inspire. Yeah. So, um, with that being said, let's get it in. So I want to start first with a prayer and then I'll go from there with other things like the energies and the things like this that I have, um, to talk about today. And so well, oh, I ask you please this time to respect our dear heavenly father, um, the most high Abba, the alpha, the omega, the beginning, the end, the middle, the, the, um, the cure, the, um, Daddy God, uh, like I said, Most High, Jehovah, whatever you call him, he's good. He is good to us. You better believe it. Because without him, we wouldn't have air, we wouldn't have water, we wouldn't have uh, the, our lungs to breathe or anything. We would not be nothing but a little piece of dust flying in the midst of whatever. Okay. So let's get it in. I ask you at this time to please respect the Lord and God bless. Mm -mm. Dear Heavenly Father, Daddy God, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Most High Almighty God, I, I come to you now on the behalf of myself and my, my people. And, and uh, today I want to pray a prayer of revelations. For um, things to be revealed, Lord Jesus. We know that that's what revelations is, um, the revealing. To um, to communicate with you better. That's what I ask for, dear Heavenly Father. At this time, for me and my people, I ask that you reveal the secrets of your word and give us understanding of your scriptures and let the blind see you for who you are. And that is mighty. Um, I ask you to please let the ears of the deaf hear the sounds of your roaring voice of truth. Please, Lord, reveal yourself so that those who choose to seek you may find you. I want to say glory and glory to your holy name. I want to celebrate you, Lord Jesus, today. We celebrate you. We honor you, Most High. Um, dear Heavenly Father, the, the, the iron rod of, of you, um, it reigns forever. Yes, God, you reign forever. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And, and please, Lord, reveal to the people your, your love. That it, it conquers um, violence, hate, war, conflict, confusion stress, anxiety. It heals the brokenness of all things, especially that of the heart. We, we pray that, that the people be touched by your touch, Lord Jesus, your healing touch, your, your mercy and your grace. We want to walk with you, Lord. We want to be closer to you, Lord. I keep praying one day, one day we will be with you. And we thank you. Mm -hmm. for all, for all that you provide. And we thank you 
for all that you teach and all that you do. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we thank you for your loving, healing touch. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Amen. So today we're going to talk about the second book, which is Sumerian, Sumerian, Sumer, Sumerna, Sumerna, if I'm saying that right, Sumerna. Okay. So I'm going to say it this time and I might forget it now. I might just ch change it on up to the S, the S church because Sumerna will slip and I will, I will lose the name Samara eventually. But before I get started, I want to say one good thing that I have to relay this message to my bae. And that's I love him. And God bless you, bae. I know you're going to work hard today. You're going to put out some great cuts. You are so awesome with your skills. I'm so proud of you. Bae is an awesome barber, y'all. He is, he's got the skills. Bae got it. I love the way, bae, bae, you be making it crispy, creamy, and everything. You be making me want to go to the donut shop. I mean the real donut shop, not the artificial donut shop, which I know that I shouldn't be eating donuts, but y'all know I'll be having a sweet too for I love a good old tasty donut. Oh my goodness. But I haven't been. So that's good. Ain't that good? I haven't had a, I haven't had one donut this week. I had some chocolate, but I didn't have no donut. And I didn't even eat any cake or cookies or nothing this week. So I did really good. I'm proud of myself. And I'm patting a hump on my back for those who's cracking jokes. So, y'all, tell me something. Before I get started, I want to say something. Y'all telling me y'all talking about me? Okay, because I have a feeling that they not showing me my comments. And if, if we were on, in my comments talk crazy to me, God I'm going to get y'all. So, it doesn't matter. Whoever crack a joke on me, I mean, the joke comes right back and slaps you in your mouth. So, it doesn't matter anyway. Honestly. And you're not funnier than me anyway, to be honest. Now, with that being said, I'm going to get on into this um, Samari, some, some, Samar, Samar, nah, nah. Okay. Some Samar, nah. No. Samari, nah. See, I told you I was going to forget it. Anyway. The second book, the second, I mean, the second church that John was instructed by God to talk to. Uh-oh, I'm in the wrong part. I got quite a picture to, um, uh, oh yeah, before I do that, let me go ahead and show you the ones that were on the floor. So somebody's secrets are going to come out because we got the moon card here. Yeah, secrets are being, or coming out. And I want y'all to know my nails aren't dirty. I hurt my nail. Yeah, I hurt my nails. I, I put my finger, I accidentally was stretching and put my finger in the, in the fan and I cut. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the truth. I cut my nail bed. I dang near, I dang near cut the tip of my finger off, which I've done that twice. With this finger. No, I did it once on this finger. And I did it on another finger. I forgot what other finger I did it. But I slammed the car. I slammed my finger in the door. And they had to sew the tip of my finger back on. That's my dead finger. Different from that finger. I was about seven. Then I did it again. I forgot what finger the other one was. I didn't go to the hospital for that time. But I almost cut the tip of my finger off. Look at that. And it cut right through the nail bed. The fan just had freak. And I was like, ah, that was a couple weeks, like a week ago. And I never said nothing about it because I'm healing up. I heal up pretty fast. But anyway, I'm wasting time. Let me get it in. So, oh, yesterday we was watching a show. One of the clients came and got an edge up. 
And he was on one. We was watching this show, and it was this lady. It was a beautiful chocolate lady. Was modeling a dress. I said, "Ooh, that's my style. I like that a lot." So the um the the, the fashion designer was taking her thing and showing how you could change it up and do it something else. So I was like, "Look at him. Just enjoyed to do that, doesn't he?" And so my client said, "Yeah. Why can't she do it herself?" He said, "What? She can't use her hands." And right when he said that, he said, "Oh, she don't have a hand. One of her hands was little." It was a little hand. It was a little hand. She didn't even have a hand. She had, it was like a, it was like this. It was like this, and it had two little fingers on it. Two like two little tiny, little tiny, 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 tiny fingers on it. And we both was looking stupid because we was you know looking stupid. Cause see, you never know. I was like she, I was like, well, they need to put some pockets on that dress. I'm sorry. Da dum dum. That's a bad joke. Is that a bad joke? Oh, oh goodness. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll know later. Don't let karma slap. Hey, karma could slap me right in my mouth as well. Okay. Let me go. So we're going to talk about John talking about the set, the second church here and the letter that he wrote to the angel over this church, the S church. Okay. So it says here, it says, the one who is the first and the last who died and came to life again says this. So he's talking about God or he's talking about Jesus says this to the church. <clears throat> Excuse me. God bless. It says, I know your troubles and that you are poor. Mm, you know me well, Lord. It says, but really you are rich. Do you hear me? See, God said they tricking you. Let they tell it they tricking you. Satan wants you to think you're poor, but you're actually rich. Cause God said everybody, everybody um has a, a, a nice place, a castle, a king, a, a, a beautiful place to dwell in the house with the Lord. Okay. And it says, I know the bad things. Some people say about you, <laughs> they say they are Jews, but they are not true Jews. And it says, let me stop there. So like I said, I think y'all said some bad things about me. Some people are. And I know that I noticed that my mom said she said to come in to me a couple of videos ago. And I told her, I said, I don't get no comments. So I'm sorry. I can't come in back. So, um, I don't know why I do that, but I kind of have a feeling this so that I won't get discouraged because I'm sure it's a few, few people that said some rude things to me because people can't actually say rude things to you on here that, uh, YouTube will allow. And then if it's too bad, you know, they won't allow it. But I noticed that I've had a couple of comments of months ago that I just push it and it wouldn't even show me the comment like it was I, it would say i have a comment i was like hooray i go on there to push it and there's nothing there so yeah so it says um they make fun of somebody they talk really bad about somebody because they say that they are the jews but they're not the real jews do you understand me the real jews look like me the real jews look like my peeps okay I hate to say this and oh yeah before i continue on i know i'm in the middle of my message but i want to say something because i got to so i see somebody slip me one of these on one of their videos because i'm talking about you know men men and women don't are supposed to be together we're not supposed to be like that it's not supposed to be steve and craig i'm sorry it's just not supposed to be and um i know a lot of people are gonna get mad at me but see my brother my brother was homosexual and also, um, I, I used I, I have a lot of clients that were homosexual. When I hung with them, I went out and hung with them, ate with them, parted with them, went to their house and everything. Good people. I don't discriminate. Goodness gracious. I don't discriminate against nobody. But I know this just going to touch a nerve because y'all, you know, y'all want to be accepted for who y'all are. And we accept y'all for who y'all are. But you got to understand that this not, this ain't, this ain't my law. This is what God says. See, cause God created everybody. He created us the way he wants, wanted us to be from the very beginning. All right. And so his rules still apply today. So I'm going to continue on. 
So that 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 little F you thing you did, I saw that, and I will not be watching your videos for a little while now, because I feel like that was you, you did that toward me, and um I thought you was cool, but at the same time I really can't even be entertaining that kind of stuff. So bop to you in your mouth. Okay, let's continue on. It says that they are a synagogue that belongs to Satan. Okay. Uh, these people that pretend to be Jews. Do not be afraid of what you are about to um, suffer. It says, because I know I was about to go down or what I've been going through has been pretty bad, y'all. Like, just, I mean, happy-go-lucky me, but if I just turned this camera around and showed you just two or three items of my house, you'd be like, dang, the suffering has gone on long enough. Okay. So it says, I tell you, the devil will put some of you in prison to test you. Mm -hmm. A mental prison, um, or a, 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 a actual physical prison and you will suffer for 10 days. So he was telling some people, get ready for a long, some little suffering, a little time of hardship, okay? And hey, if it, it I, I done been, like I said, I done been through a lot of things, a lot of things. But be faithful, remain faithful and true to God, even if you have to die. Ooh, that's one. Are you ready to die? Are you ready to die for the cause? Because if I die for my sweet Jesus, I die. I, I don't die in vain. I die on a mission for my Savior. Okay? And it says, and I will give you the crown of life. And look at what I got on today, y'all. This is the one that God put me in. And he said, we don't have no red eye shadow. Oh, do they make red eye shadow? I would like to find some. Um, He said, put that little purple on the go with that. God is so fashion coordinated. <laughs> Uh-huh. So let's keep on going. It says, oh, I got a funny thing. It says, stop and tell your funny story about your doctor visit yesterday. So, <clears throat> hold on. Yesterday, when I was at the doctor, they always wanted to take my blood pressure. And I'm, at a, I'm here for a consultation to talk about the pain in my back. I'm not here to get any services today. So why you got to take my blood pressure all the time? So I was thinking that before I went. I'm like, man, I really don't want them taking my blood pressure. I don't even want to know what it is, you know. But I said, I've been doing okay so lately, so it should be all right. So when I went in, they took my blood pressure. So she tried. She, put, she, she did my blood. The first time she did it, it didn't work. The second time she did it, she said, um, she said, okay, well, it might be a little tighter this time. I said, it's always tight. Well, it was tight. I'm like, I was like, ow, it's tight. It didn't work. The third time she did it, it didn't work. <laughs> so I looked there and I said, what are you trying to do? Trying to figure out if I'm alive? And then she said, <laughs> And she gave me the little finger thing. She said, we'll just have to do it like this. And if we, we'll just say that, um, we just didn't do it. We're just not going to do it again. So she said, put your finger in here. And that was for her to, uh, to, uh, to, to figure out my heart rate. Right. And guess what it was? 77. <laughs> it was 77 y'all. That is so funny to me. Cause see, that's God. See, I didn't want to know what my um, blood pressure was. But God said, I'm just going to tell you something. I fixed it where you don't even have to worry about that. 77. That's funny to me. Okay. Let me continue on. So, 11. Everyone who has ears should listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. Those who win the victory will not be hurt by the second death. See, I done already. Boop, boop. I'm awake. See, I'm alive. I'm in eternal life. You know what I'm saying? She's like, blood pressure. God said, what blood pressure? She's covered by the blood of Jesus. 77. Mm, mm, mm. 
And it says here, so um, what is the biblical number 77? It is Christ, okay? Because the C equals 3, the H equals 8, the R equals 18, the I equals 9, the S equals 19, and the T equals 20. Add it all up, it equals 77. Whoop, whoop. That's Christ. That's Christ. That's the Christ in me. The Christ in everyone. That's Jesus Christ, there it is. So, Jesus asked his followers. This is something else now. More proof. Jesus asked his followers. Who do the people um, say the son of man is and they answered some say you are john the baptist others say you are elijah and still others say you are jeremiah or um one of the prophets then jesus asked them and who do you say i am and simon peter answered you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Amen and amen. That's my message. Hi, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon just came up. I love God. Mm -hmm. I love his mighty, wonderful word. I love him. Um, so that is what I revealed today in Revelations. Mm -hmm. And I have something else I want to discuss. So yesterday I didn't go, I didn't, well, oh, I still got some more. I want to, I want to say this too. I have this up ripped down. So it says here, I, I was, um, I didn't think I said nothing about this part of the whip. The whip, the whip, remember the whip, the whips, the whip are the um, party's enforcers. They try to in, in, ensure that their fellow political parties legislators attend voting sessions and vote according to their party's officials policy members who vote against the policy may <clears throat> lose the the whip being effectively expelled from the party it's kind of kind of like what they said that biden's doing to no diplomats or something when he said he's sending them back because they don't want to uh conform or accept the fact that gay marriages are are legal or what have you here in america or that they think that they should do the same thing or we should be example to all the rest of the countries or continents to follow and do the same thing no mm -mm. No, no, that's not right. And it says in here, it says in the Bible, the whip is an image of the power and activity of the Holy Spirit. See, because what did I say about the devil? The devil always mimics God and everything about God. It's the spirit of God unleashed in Jesus as he disrupts the marketplace in the temple courts. And I'm going to look up temple courts. I was supposed to do that. So I'm going to write on here. Temples. Where is it at? Yeah, that's what it said. Temples, courts. And so, so um, yeah, that's when, I, as, as I told y'all, boy, I would love to have been there. I do I do believe. I'm just going to put myself there. I'm like. My eyes, y'all, y'all say my eyes is big. And look, somebody said this. I love your eyes. Thank you. Look, my eyes would have been this big. I would have been like, get them, Jesus. Um, and I would have been like, <laughs> and I would have started throwing stuff like, guess where this came from, y'all? Dubai. My son sent me a set, a set of, of cups from Dubai when he was stationed over there in Dubai. He's in the Air Force. And he sent me um, these and some vases. And um, this is the only one standing. The other one's cracked. Not because some of them was busted up when they got here. But it's um, it's from Dubai. It's the last one standing. And it's sentimental. And I gotta keep it. And I washed it out real good. I, I never drank out of it. <laughs> no. I should put some tea in it right now. No, I'm not going to do it. Matter of fact, I had... Uh, is this one of the ones that I...
a couple of them I glued back together, but that's the last one standing. So let me keep on going. So, uh, and then I asked for the definition of revelations. It says a surprising or a, a previously unknown fact, um, especially one that is made known um, in a diplomatical way or, or dramatic way. I'm sorry. I said diplomatical, dramatic way. So, um, it reports, it, it, it's a report, it's news, it's confession, it's declaration, it le it's a leak, or it's acknowledgement. And it also means the divine or supernatural disclosure of humans of something related to human existence or the world, the communication of the truth and the knowledge from God to his children on earth, suited to their language and understanding. It is uncovering the knowledge. And that's what we prayed for. And then that's how I ended up making this prayer right underneath it. But after I said, after I did that part, I found that out. It says the Hebrew meaning of revelations is manifestation of God by some wondrous act of his, which over rolls, I don't know that word, man, and impresses him with what he sees, hears, and otherwise perceives of his glorious presence. Ain't that something that we pray for that? And that's what we want to happen. We want everybody to have a vision of God. We want everybody to manifest God into their life so that they can have the wonderful uh, see and enjoy and experience and be impressed by God's heal, he, um, healing, wonderful love. See? And so that's what we're asking for. That's what we prayed for. So let's continue on. That was all that I have today. God is good and God is great. Look, so um, yesterday this was on the floor, bamboozled. Somebody is a fool or a cheater. And um, yesterday we all said somebody was a cheater. Um, they were cheating in their marriage. That's just half of the population. People think it's okay to play with uh, uh, each other's hearts and love and stuff. And um, people, a lot of people die from broken hearts. I really just don't understand why people are so vicious in nature and don't, don't consider other people um, really like take um, pride in having a, a good person or try to find a good person and have a wholesome relationship. So it says bamboozle, fool or cheat, um, could also refer to as a drunk. And then I had yesterday loving woman and I think that was me. And it says mother, mother energy and spirit, high vibration. And um, then we have, we had, I love your eyes. And I said we had the moon because we were revealing secrets and things like that. And since I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead, pull a few at 28 minutes. I need to really shuffle them up because I don't want to pull out the same ones from yesterday. Anybody got big plans this weekend? I seen Miss Spiritual Sash when I had her nice looking drink right there. That looked, that looked tasty. I forgot. I, I, I liked on it, but I didn't say anything. I should have got on it and said something. Someone just say hi to a couple people. Hi, baby girl. Baby girl. Hi, Geneva. Hi, son. Hi, um. Hi, Dream. Hi, boss man. Hi, Paul. Hi, Tyra. Tierra, Tara, <laughs> TT. <laughs> Let's see who else. Hi, babe. <laughs> yeah, hi, babe. Hi, handsome. Hey, the prophets are coming. Yeah, we're coming. And what else I got here? It says here, um, this is about deception. Yeah. Somebody's deception or something like that. Is that what it is? 
strategies, deception. Let's see what else. Um, pray and meditate, which we just did. Prayer is meditation. And it says, take a risk. Take a risk. Somebody's going to take a risk. Now, I'm going to tell you, Satan, don't take a risk coming around here because you're going to get, you just going to get turned right back around. Okay? But if somebody wants to do something fun this weekend, take a risk. Go ahead. Try it. As long as it don't hurt you. Um, we're going to discard doubt. Yeah. That's what God, we discarding doubt because we want to believe in God. We cannot believe in God and have doubt. It's just not possible. Don't, don't mix. Let's see what else. It says, I say things others feel and wish they could say. Mm-hmm, I do. I be trying. I'm going to try to be the word, the voice for all people. And um, let them know. Let Satan know. We about sick of you. Okay? Uh-huh. You don't run nothing around in our, our areas of area code. And you don't, you don't dictate what we do. Put your dukes up, Satan. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ugh. I, I didn't come this far um, to, to be a quitter. No, I didn't come this far to be a quitter. Mm -mm. I didn't do all this work to quit. I didn't do all this work to say, I'm a quitter. Uh-uh, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. It says, your mouth so big, one bite could kill a Big Mac. Uh-oh, run DMC. You talk too much. Somebody talk too much and they never shut up. Mm -hmm. Are you conscious? Are you conscious? Are you a now believer? Are you conscious of your surroundings? Are you conscious? Ice conscious, that is. I adore you. I adore Bay. I do a base something mind it's like I'm like thank you Lord oh, goodness I've been thinking of the Lord ever since I figured this out I'm like Lord that ain't 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 you celebrate yourself pamper yourself get out into nature and heal yourself it's a beautiful it's gone it's hot drink check your some water with you and go out and get a little bit of that sun. Don't stay out there too long. Don't fall asleep out there and shrivel up like a little, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what this day. Have you ever seen, have you ever like put a, a throw a piece of bologna out there and let it sit in the sun and go back and it'll be like, and then it'll it turned in and all kind of stuff. Don't do that. Don't, don't stay out there so long that you, you shrivel up and, um, uh, and cook or cook yourself away. It says, here's to all the grown folks who survived their childhood with a mother that couldn't cook. Ooh, that ain't my mama, because my mama can cook. Now, I'm going to give my mama her props. My mama can cook. And thank, thank goodness my mama could cook. I can cook. So, but some people mamas cannot cook. So, somebody today's like, probably, some kids is probably ready to go back to school. <laughs> So they can go eat the lunch in school. Because they be like, oh, we mama cannot cook. What else? You are a gift to earth. One with all. We are not here to kill earth. We're here to cure it. In the name of Jesus, we have Psalms 84 and 11. For God is our son and our shield. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will... Um, withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. Yes. God said, do not lose the faith in me. Do not give up. You're going to go through some suffering. They might try to imprison you. They might even try to kill you. But he said, I'm going to bring you back to in the second life. I'm going to bring you back again and I'm going to give you what 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 um, God said. He said, I'm going to take you to God's gar garden. You're going to get what you deserve. It, it, the devil is going to try to work so hard not to get you. He does not want you to get there. For what reason? I don't know. Hatred. We rebuke hatred in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
We rebuke, we rebuke all the enemy's tactics. We, 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 we are, are um, breaking the holes that you have tried to hold on to us. You don't want to let my people go. You don't want to let us go so that we can have our good lives and enjoy our life here on earth like and take care of earth and love earth. That is sad to me. We got one more right here. And somebody don't want no advice, but you own here. You know what I'm saying? What you own here for if you don't want no advice? Is for a good time? You, you get pleasure out of looking at me and trying to look at the background or see what I have on today and say, she don't know what she's talking. Yes, I do. I rebuke all of you negativities. Negative people with your negative thoughts. I rebuke all you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. See, I use my right hand. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't use my left. The only time I use my left is when I grab you, take you down. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. Well, anyway, 35 minutes is great. God bless you all. I wish I can go all night <laughs> and just, just preach all night. Just talk to y'all for about five hours. Y'all probably will, Somebody will probably hang in there until the end. But then some will be like, oh, it's too dang on long. But anyway, God bless you all. And thank y'all for watching. And thank y'all for sending me such loving energy and everything. And um, um, keeping me going. Oh, hi, Miss Brittany. And who else? Because I always seem to forget. I'm going to say Mystic Beauty. And I'm going to say, I said Miss Phoenix. Because that's, that's my baby, that's the, that's the baby girl right there. And she be going hard in the paint, of course. And, oh, I'm going to feel really bad if I don't say everybody. That's why I don't like to do that. Because if I don't say everybody that I really follow or uh, people that I feel like lift me up. And some people that I haven't watched in a while, um, then I feel bad. So please don't be mad at me. And don't be flipping me off in, in subliminal messages because I catch that. So now I just won't be looking at you no more because that's what I'm thinking it was about. If it wasn't, I sure took it like that. And it says, the Lord says to use my intuition. And I'm using my intuition and saying, I think you, like I said, when I, when I say something that makes people angry, it seems like that's when the devil pops up some kind of way and tries to give me a F you. So that's why I feel like you F you'd me because Hey, it's your, it's your, that's your business. The way you live your life, um, I'm not here to um put you down. I'm here just to give the message that the Lord says, and and it's a correct message. It's the truth. And if you have your own issues that you're dealing with, don't be mad at me. Um, go take that up with God and ask God to help you through it. And and I'm sure you're not gonna change your ways or the feelings that you have, your, your sexual tendencies. That's on you. But don't be mad at me because I'm giving this message out and I have to say the truth. And that is that God says what it is and how it always has been and how it is in heaven is how it's supposed to be here on earth. And that is the message today. God bless everybody. Peace, love, and light. Never let nobody dim your light. And keep and, 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 and always, always stay strong with your opinions and your beliefs when it comes to Jesus. Don't let nobody detour you and tell you, okay, well, I guess... I guess I'll get one exception to the rule. There's no exceptions to the rule when it comes to God. The only rule is God. God is the king, and he will reign forever. And God is good. Uh-huh. Yes, he is. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. One. God bless.